from let's say at the age of 15 when I first won the national junior title, uh, you know, it was always my ambition to win the All England title because you know in those days uh, World Championships was not there in the early 70s, Olympics it was not included. So um, All England was like the unofficial World Championship, you know, equivalent of Wimbledon in tennis. So whoever won the All England was considered as the unofficial World Champion. So everybody, you know, dream in any badminton player's dream at that time was to win the All England. It was very prestigious. It was known to be one of the prestigious uh, tournaments of the year. In fact, the best. If you won the All England, you were. It's the oldest tournament, the main reason, but it was also considered up to 1977 as the unofficial World Championships. There, there weren't any World Championships, so if you won the All England before that date, you were considered the best player in the world. The first two All England events were called the Badminton Association Tournament and it was considered the unofficial World Badminton Championships until 1977 when the International Badminton Federation launched the official World Championships. This year here in Basel we celebrate the 25th staging of the Badminton World Championships. It's taken 2,000 years since its origin and more than 150 years since the inception as a sport to get to where we are today. The second highest participation sport in the world with a truly global following at the elite level. What a fascinating and glorious journey for the sport I love. Until the next time, Bye-bye.